So are you running Sodium instead of Optifine but you still want to use Fresh Animations? Well today I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure we've got Sodium and Fabric installed. Now I'm going to assume you've already got that but I will link a video in the description showing you how to do exactly that. So the first thing we need to do is to download the Fresh Animations resource pack and to do this you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to the Fresh Animations page which I'll leave a link in the description. Which here you can scroll through the page to learn more about it but in this case we want to download the file. So you want to click on the files tab just at the very top and then you want to click on the latest version which is 1.8.1 .1, but it might be a newer version for you. So you want to click on it and then you want to click on the drop down menu next to the install button and click on download file. After a few seconds the download should automatically pop up but if it doesn't you want to click on the try again button. Now in this case I'm going to save the fresh animations to my desktop and then we're going to install it a bit later on. Okay, so now we've got fresh animations downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install it. So to do this, you want to right click on your Windows icon and click on run. And then you want to type in percent update percent and click on OK. From here, you just want to go into your .minecraft folder. Then you want to go into your resource pack folder. And from here, we just need to drag and drop our fresh animations resource pack into the folder. Once we've done this, we can close out of our file explorer and the fresh animations resource pack has been installed. Now we just need to move on to the next step. Okay, so if you use Fresh Animations now, you notice it still isn't working. And that's because we need two primary mods to get it to work. And these two mods are going to be Entity Model Features, and we're also going to be downloading Entity Texture Features. That's because the resource pack requires these to work in order to get the Fresh Animations. Okay, so to download the mods, we just need to go to the mod page. And again, I'll leave a link in the description. Then you want to go to the Files tab, and then you want to find your game version, which in this case is 1.19.4. So we want to click on it and then again click on the drop down menu next to install and click on the download file. So again we just want to wait 5 seconds for the download to start and again in this case we're going to save the mod to our desktop. Now it may come up saying it's not safe but I can reassure you this file is safe as many people have downloaded this mod in the past. Ok so we just need to do the same thing for entity texture features. So you want to go to the files tab, select your version of Minecraft in this case 119.4 Click on the drop down menu and then select download file. Then we just need to wait the five seconds. The download will start and again, I'm going to save the mod to our desktop. Okay, so now we've got our mods, we just need to install them. And to do this, you want to right click on your Windows icon again, select run. Then you want to type percent out data percent and click on OK. You want to go back to the dot Minecraft folder and then you want to go into your mods folder. Now, if you don't have one, you may need to click on new folder and rename it mods just like this. Once you've done that, you want to go into the folder and then you want to go ahead and drag and drop your mods into the folder. Once you've done that, your mods have successfully been installed. Now we just need to move on to the next step. So all we need to do now is to go to our Minecraft launcher. Then you want to click on the drop down menu and select the fabric loader. Once you've done that, you want to click on play. Okay, so I'm currently in a Minecraft world and I haven't got fresh animations on. So to enable it, we just need to go to options then click on resource packs and you just want to drag and drop the fresh animations folder over. Once you're ready you want to click on done and after a few seconds it should enable. So once you're ready you want to click on done then click on back to game and then you'll notice the fresh animations is working. Now we just want to note that fresh animations is not completed and the mods we installed earlier are also not complete so not all of the mods will work but most of them will. And that is all you need to do to install fresh animations with Sodium. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.